Good morning guys. Welcome to my morning routine as a mom of three. But in this morning uh, video, I'm not going to take part in the kids morning preparation. So this is just basically what happens in the morning when I don't get to prepare my kids to school. So the first thing I do is I make my bed, take out uh, all the clothes that are in the laundry basket that have been washed and put them back in the wardrobe and uh, replace it with dirty clothes for her to clean later. I used to wake up in the morning to prepare my kids to go to school, but with the workouts and everything, it has proven to be very difficult to wake up very early because I wake up very exhausted. Uh, so I just do a quick... Uh, self-care uh, in the morning before I leave for the gym and then uh, put on my clothes prepare my creatine for the day and head out On this particular day, I was literally running late for my gym. I usually uh, do the morning prep, but I think because I was taking the video, it took a bit longer than I expected. Uh, the workouts usually start at 9, and uh, they always start with instructions, as you would see in this next video. For a minimum of 8 or minimum of 10. Then once you're done, you the shoulder, this position, you can do a push press, this position, your hips, then drive all the way up, down again, drive all the way up, down, drive all the way up. Full extension of the elbow, drop the elbow, towards the left. So once you're done, we do shuttle runs. We'll be doing here. From the one end, defend, maximum, and a minute. Alright? And then once you're done, we do the second station. We have drop the overhead.
Our gym is called Alpha Fit. You can check them out on Instagram. They are located along Ngong Road, just next to Posta or Ligindogo, if you know where that is. But check them out on Instagram for the location. The coach basically takes us through the, the whole workout for the day, shows us how the workouts are supposed to be done, and after that, it is time to hit the gym. I'm literally purple. I don't know if, I, if you can hear me because the, there's music in here, but I'm just trying to relax and let the sweat come down. But this is literally how I am after I work out. Like, Nakani can repeat on a track. This place is so much fun, you guys. Like, I don't know whether I should show you. I'll turn the camera for you to see. I think I should talk as I walk out because there's so much noise in here but this is just how a normal workout is that's how the gym looks like right now there are people who have come in for another class which is um, 10 to 11 usually uh, my class starts at 9 to 10 but I take some time to stretch and just breathe as you can see, I totally look beat. <laughs> so I'm just going to the car to take a breather and then go back home, take a shower and start my day. So I'm trying to see if I can get a bag that I can be using to maybe shower at the gym and then start my day because I feel like in between the gym and the house, I spend a lot of time uh, that I cannot account for that I cannot account for so 
Uh, I'll look for a bag, I think, one of these days and just have it in the car. Something I can use to... Something I can use to pack a few essentials to be coming to the gym with. Maybe I take a shower and just literally start my day as opposed to going back home, you know? To save a bit of time. Yeah, so that is just basically how my workout is or my mornings are. So let's head on to the next part of the morning. Uh, immediately after my workout, I usually take this vegetable um, juice. Someone told me on on Instagram that I should not be putting spinach in my vegetables, my, my vegetable juice because it has a lot of acidity. So I think next time I'm going to make something different. But in here I have a uh, melon, I have cucumber, I have spinach, and what else? Carrots and carrots. So this is my after work post-workout as you can see I have my creatine in there so I'll just shake it up and drink creatine really does help me with recovery so that my muscles don't ache so yeah guys let's head home take a shower and start my day so guys I'm back home I just want to leave the house uh, real quick I'm in tees and tights because um, I'm going to the shamba uh, somewhere around to check on a few things so i ran out of uh, my protein as you can see i've taken a whole thing this one lasted a month so i just want to go to healthy you i wanted to go to usn but i don't have the time so i want to go to healthy you to go and refill and get a new one also i'm packing my meal for the day to go um in here i have chicken and veggies this is what i'll be having today when i when i break my fast so i just want to pack it so that i'm not tempted to eat anything else on the road so that is just pretty much how my morning is um when i don't have to wake up to prepare the kids to go to school and it's been a challenge because um i go to the gym at nine so most of the time i wake up at maybe seven clean up my room do a few things in the house edit a vlog or something and then hit the gym but initially i used to wake up at six take care of the kids but i think with the workouts i when i go to bed I, i'm really exhausted so those that extra one hour in the morning really does wonders for me so my nanny has been holding down that department i'm hoping that uh, when they close school it will be easier because then i won't feel guilty uh, about missing their mornings <laughs> it's like you have to choose you or choose the kids but because we have help, I'm like, I don't want to kill myself. Sometimes I wake up at about 6.30 just to say hi in my sleep and then go back to bed. But I've really not been part of their morning routine uh, for a while now. But it's for a good cause, you know. It's for a good cause. As long as they're happy, they're healthy, and I'm here in the evening when they come back. That's all that matters. Balance. So that being said, guys, let me go grab that and hit the road and start my day. I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye.